In this video, we will show you how to make beautiful mouth positions for your realistic humanoid characters. Although this video was made using 3ds Max and Morphomatic, the following techniques can be applied in any 3D animation software. When animating your 3D character's mouth positions, three things are very important to take into account. The first is the lips motion. The second is the teeth, and thirdly, the tongue's movement. Let's look at an x-ray of someone opening his mouth. Notice how the three elements previously mentioned interact. From the lips to the tongue, everything is in relation to the other. The lips will move first, then the tongue, and finally the lower jaw. In humanoid realistic animation, the upper teeth will never move as they are connected to the skull, but in cartoon animation, it is very likely that you will see the upper teeth moving. In this next example, you can see the lips motion, the tongue doing most of the work, and the lower jaw barely moving at all. Here, we have a scene with various mouth positions created for this character. It is often suggested when animating a character to split the mouth position between vowels and consonants. We will start with vowels. The easiest mouth position to set up is the A shape, which is basically just the mouth opening as we can see here. Looking at the wireframe, you can see the lower teeth rotate on the pivot point of the jaw and the tongue follows the movement of the teeth. The E shape, on the other hand, typically has very little movement of the lower jaw and tongue, but the lips have a very important role to play. The zygomaticus muscles are what you would want to see move. They are the muscles responsible for smiling. An O shape is simply a puckering of the lips combined with the jaw opening, as you can see here. You could also exaggerate the mouth opening for a different effect, but that really depends on the style of your animation. As a general rule, if you pronounce an O sound, you will typically not exaggerate the mouth movement when speaking. The U shape is an over-exaggerated puckering of the lips. It is one of the most important shapes in English lip sync animation as it is the most evident contraction of the lips. Introducing subtle motions of contractions to the puckering will prevent your character from looking like this when talking. These were the four key vowels. We will now look at the consonants, which as you will see, make use of the three elements more extensively. The F and V shape is very simple. You can see that the lower lip presses upon the upper teeth. The L and N consonants are very similar to the A vowel as the jaw opens, but if you look carefully, you will notice that the tongue is going to the upper teeth to recreate a realistic L. The N consonant, as you will notice, is quite similar. Then there is the M, B, and P shapes, which look very much alike. For this shape, you can think of it as a closed mouth biting. The mouth contracts as an exaggerated bite with a little puffing of air to either side of the lips. The S sound resembles a puckering of the upper lip with the lower teeth and the tongue slightly appearing. Lastly, the most important consonant in the English language is the TH sound, which is simply a slight opening of the mouth with the tongue touching the upper teeth. These are the key mouth positions composed of lip, teeth, and tongue motion, and they are split in two different categories, vowels and consonants. Defining mouth positions with these techniques can be used in any software and rig, be it morph targets, blend shapes, or a bone-based rig solution. Most techniques will be very similar and rely on separating the lips, teeth, and tongue, then use these elements and create the best mouth positions they can. I hope you have enjoyed this video on realistic mouth shapes and how to achieve them. If you would like to know more about Diomatic and our various solutions to help you in your CG character animations, visit our website at www.diomatic.com.